Let's take a look at the concept of resource tags or just sometimes known as a tag. And this is a key and value pair that you can assign to Azure resources. So generally when you are launching a new resource, you're gonna have a, uh, a tags page and this is where you can uh, apply that key and value name. And just to give you some examples of tags you might want to apply, you might want to have a department and then the type of department, status approved, uh, a team, an environment, uh, or the project or the location. And so you have a lot of uh, tags that you can apply and tags allow you to organize your resources in the following ways. You can organize them in your uh, via resource management. So that's where you are specifying uh, workloads, environments like developer environments. Uh, there's cost management and optimization. So cost tracking, budgets and alerts, operation management. So uh, that could be uh, business commitments to SLA operations. So uh, you might want to tag services that are considered mission critical services. Uh, there's security. So that's classification of data and security impact. So if there's uh, certain databases that have uh, uh, very specific compliance rules, you might want to do that as well, which I think is the next example here. Um, or maybe you're defining uh, services that are used for automation or, or services that are for workload optimization. So there's a lot to do with tags. Uh, and even though I don't use them uh, frequently in my follow-alongs, it's definitely something uh, is a good habit to do and uh, you should do in your production workloads.